You know, it was funny the other day because one of my guys, he sent me a DM on Instagram and he was like, hey, Engraven, would you rather the Ravens trade for DeAndre Hopkins or trade for Vikings defensive end Daniil Hunter? And I thought about it for a minute, but then I was like, mm, you know what? Me being the annoying person that I am, I said, you know, uh, get this. I would rather them trade for Daniil Hunter. Reason being because they ain't got to trade for D-Hop. He's a free agent, so they could sign him and trade for Daniil Hunter. So give me both. And he was like, oh, okay, I got you. But anyway, uh, today's first question. Uh, it came from my guy, Jordan, and he said, engraving the GM. Ooh, that, that'd be dangerous, man. You you think EDC going crazy at wide receiver? You, all right, you, uh, let me mess around and be the GM. Yo, anyway, he said, first off, glad you and the fam are feeling better. Hey, I appreciate that, man. Uh, I don't know if something will happen by the time you do this question. <laughs> nah, you're good. It's, it's, we at that point of the season. Uh, with the money left in the cap, would you rather sign... DeAndre Hopkins to a one or two year deal, trade for Daniel Hunter and eventually extend him or, oh, okay, what's this or right here? I thought it was just going to be between those two or trade for an additional corner for the slot and sign Justin Houston. Ooh, okay, okay. Well, cross that last one out for me. Um, not that it's a bad idea at all, but no, nah, I'm, I'm crossing that last one out. Uh, I, I, um, I'm whether it's giving our Darius Washington a shot, uh, Caillou Blue Kelly, uh, Pepe Williams, some, somebody gonna emerge as that slot corner and they gonna hold it down. Somebody, Jalen Armour Davis, I, I mean, Ravens got a lot of options back there. And I know, um, so many people have been like corner, 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 we need more corners. And I get it. Trust me. I do. I do. But if we're talking another significant investment, um, um, I'm probably not going to go corner. Uh, but, again, that's just me. This is just my opinion. So, it is what it is. So, scratch the last one out for me. Especially if I got to choose between these three. Now, he said, would you rather sign D-Hop to a one or two year deal or trade for Daniel Hunter and uh, ex extend him? Or Okay, so, um, this is me. So, I know uh, Logic would say... Defensive end, and I get it. Daniel Hunter, nice when healthy. Uh, if we throwing health concerns out the window, and we're like, hey, I know he had that that neck problem a couple years back and whatnot that ruined his season and whatnot. But yeah, that the boy could play, he can play. But this is me. He said engraving the GM. So I'm going D hop. I'm going D hop. And the reason I'm going D hop, and I know a lot of people are gonna be. Hey, are you crazy, man? And a lot of people, a lot of y'all, y'all know me. Y'all got to know my answer before you even watch this part of the video. So, and I love y'all. <laughs> I know it makes more sense to go for the defensive. And anybody that picked Daniel Hunter ain't going to be mad at it. I get it. It's Daniel Hunter, and that, that will give you a proven thing at defensive end uh, alongside with a job and a dot fair way as pass rushers and Tyus Bowser um, and the, the rookie as well. So that will give you a short thing, and that, that's smart, and I get it. But for me, with D-Hop, um, with the Ravens receivers, uh, it's, it's question marks there too. I, Rashad Bateman could be nice. It's healthy. Odell Beckham Jr. would be nice. It's healthy. Um, and... Zay Flowers, the guy, I feel like he's going to be straight, too. I mean, he got to prove it in the NFL, but I feel like he's going to be nice, too. But um, with DeAndre Hopkins, it gives us another sure thing, and it would really be kind of overkill. Um, but at the same time, I'd be like, hey, Lamar, you deserve overkill because it's been underkill for years. It really has been. But then at the same time, if the off in defensive offense, I would be like, hey, that last GM, he was cool. He was cool. But I really want to deliver on this indefensible offense like he wanted to. Like he said he wanted to. I really want to take this thing to a whole nother level. And if the Ravens have and, and all that whole, oh, it's only one ball to go around. Yeah, I get it. But also, it's only one team that wins the Super Bowl. So it's only one trophy to go around, too. So if, if they started complaining, they started having that talk, oh, it's only one ball to go around, man. GM, it's only one ball to go around. It's only one trophy, that it, and it doesn't go around. It goes to one team, and that's it. So I'm trying to get that trophy. So I ain't worried about that one ball going around. But if we have so many options, and we really make a, an offense that is just crazy great, not crazy good, 
crazy great. That'll make it easier for the defense. That'll make it easier for Dafe. Well, that'll make it easier for all the pass rushers. So that'll make it easy for all the corners. Because if we scoring all these points, we got so many weapons. We scoring all these points, putting up a boatload of points every week. Our defense looks even better. They, they look even better because it's easier. And with the defense right now, the way that they stand, it's not a thing about they're bad. It's not about it's not a thing about our corners are bad, our edge rushes are bad. It, it, it's not that. It's they're unknown. That's that's what everybody tripping about. Well, at least in my opinion, that's what I think. I've been I've been saying it, it's not that. Oh man, we're so bad here at corner. We're so bad at edge rusher. We're so bad. No, 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 no. It's unknown. And and I get that that you would much rather a sure thing there than an unknown, but. Ravens have done sure things on the defense for the longest. For me, I'm like, hey, I, I love loved the Ravens. Love what y'all done in the past. Well, some stuff I don't love that y'all did in the past. But this way, it ain't going to be no unknowns on offense. So I'm going crazy with it. So my choice would obviously be DeAndre Hopkins. But if you chose Daniel Hunter, I get it. Or if you, even if you chose that third option, trade him for the cornerback, I get it. But this was a fun way to start off questions from subscribers. <laughs> Yeah, this feels like a dream And you know just what I mean You see my boy, he like gotta made it how to made it Boy, he's a fan and he like the Ravens like the Ravens And you know just what I mean You too team keep it clean You see my boy, he like gotta made it how to made it Boy that's my homie ain't that right and graven right and graven Thank you, be clean. Welcome to another episode of Questions from Subs. Every time I cut my hair, it always makes my forehead extra shiny. But anyway, what questions from Subs is, is a series where you can ask any question you want to, and we answer it in a video just like this. If you want to be part of it, you can send an email to teamkeepitclean at gmail.com or for the Team Keep It Clean patrons. Special shout out to all the Team Keep It Clean patrons. Uh, newest Team Keep It Clean patron, uh, care, career, career. Uh, and Zachary S. So appreciate the both of y'all very, very much. But if you would like to become a Team Keep It Clean patron, you can go to patreon.com slash engravenviz. So, next couple of questions came from patrons. The first one from my guy, Biz, who's been a patron for nine months. Appreciate you. He said, what's up, Engraven? What do you think about a Mark Ingram reunion? I feel like he was the battery in Lamar's back in 2019 and will be good. Will be a good vet to have in the backfield, but wouldn't take away from JK and the buses shine. I mean... <laughs> <laughs> you better hope J.K. even still on the team to get some shine. By the way, things go up, but no, he, he should. Well, I can't say he should because, you know, the, the business could be crazy, man, especially when people, when folks get to complaining. And, hey, if J.K. requests a trade, y'all know what that means. Boy. Y all, y all, hey, if Jake, if he does, I'm not, I'm not saying he did, but if he does, you know, Eric DeGosta, okay, bye, see ya. Because Eric DeGosta don't play about that. Look, hey, especially if he don't plan on re-signing you, he going to trade you. Look, look, look at Orlando Brown Jr. He wasn't a first round pick, but still, look at Hayden Hurst. He was first round pick. Look at Hollywood Brown. He was a first round pick. Like, hey, if, if you request it, Eric DeGuy's going to look to grant it. Look at Chuck Clark. I mean, it took them a year, but hey, look at Chuck Clark. So if if JK requests a trade, he's going to go bye bye, man. Eric DeCosta's going to be like, all right, cool. Hey, appreciate you. Thanks for everything. But all right, see you. So, anyway, he ain't request no trade yet, at least. We'll see. You know, that business side, it could get ugly, man. Uh, hopefully, he doesn't, though, because the, the team is better with JK than without. But anyway, um, Mark Ingram, no, I, I would not go for a re I mean, As a coach, yeah, hey, as a coach. But as a running back, no, um, that time has passed. And we loved Mark Ingram. We absolutely loved Mark Ingram. He was amazing. The vibe, the energy, all that was great. But, nah, it's it's time to still go younger. Next question came from my guy, Martin, who's been a patron for about two years. He said, this is a follow-up to my last question slash comment. I wasn't trying to say for people not to get hyped for these videos. Absolutely, be hyped. I'm just saying not to be throwing tomatoes at the players when they aren't up to the hyped expectations. And what he's referring to um, on the last episode of Question from Subscribers, uh, his question was or comment was talking about how uh, he just, it, it frustrates him when he sees the Ravens, they put out these hype videos on these players and whatnot, and then the fans get all hyped about it, um, and then the fans start, like, really believing in this player and thinking that he's going to do such an amazing job and having such an amazing season, but then when he don'ts, I mean, 
I just said when he don't. When he doesn't, um, then fans are like, oh, this guy sucks. He's terrible. He's this. He's that. Um, so that that's what he's referring to. And, and our response was, hey, still get hyped off of the videos. It's great. But, yeah, you never want to be say, oh, this guy sucks because these guys are in the 1%. They make it to the league for a reason. And it, it does. It, it can be tough when you, you, you start really believing in a player and then it just it doesn't end up working itself out. And it could be for a number of different situations and reasons and whatnot. But these guys, they work really, really hard to get where they are. So uh, you, you got to respect them for that alone. But anyway, he said, I know it's the Ravens media job to make these hype videos. It's obviously what they get paid to do. And yes, it would be very stale uh, if they didn't put out anything at all. I just think maybe the way they do it could be better. Some of the players I think they pick are better in practice than on game day. Uh, they That part that annoys me is fans getting angry that these players aren't performing up to the expectations that the fans have been hyped up to. The main problem is obviously the fans that go too far and start trashing these players, even though they have been led to believe that they are that guy or whatever the case may be. Sorry, I, I know this was a long way of explaining it, but I think the structure of the hype videos could be better. Let's have a little bit more respect for all these hardworking guys. Stay hydrated, team. Keep it clean. Appreciate that, man. And I mean, but even with that, what, what would you want them to do with the hype videos? Cause again, that's what that's what they are. They're hype videos. They're videos to get you hype for the season, to get you excited for what's to come. And yeah, hey, sometimes a player is better in practice than on the field. Sometimes a player is better on the field than in practice, in the game than in practice. So I mean, it's I I don't really feel like Ravens could really do anything about that. Like, are they only gonna show? All right, we're only gonna show Lamar make plays in practice. We're only gonna show Mark Andrews. Uh, we're only going to show Shaw Bateman and Beckham. We're only going to show J.K. Like, if they just pick and choose the guys who they only show, they could do that. And, and if they only, like, picked and choose proven guys, they could do that. But what about the guys who haven't proven themselves yet? What if they need a little confidence boost? What, what, what if they could be a little secret weapon and the Ravens actually use them as a secret weapon? Like, I just, um, it, this, this, like, and like you mentioned, this is more just a fan thing, I think, than it is a, a Ravens thing. Uh, Cause they, there's nothing they could really do about the, or they could do something, but it wouldn't make any sense if they changed the way that they do the hype videos. Uh, but then he also said, um, I think Sports Illustrated hates Lamar Jackson. Last month they were writing articles that coaches were upset Lamar wasn't at voluntary workouts. Now they are writing articles about the Ravens regretting signing Lamar Jackson. <laughs> I mean, I, who I was talking to somebody about this the other day. Um, Oh, I think it was my guy, uh, Trust Nas. So uh, I got to have him on the channel sometime soon, too. But, yeah, I was on his channel the other day. Um, and he was like, oh, how do you feel about the narratives about Lamar Jackson, uh, especially the ones before he got his deal and whatnot? And I was like, hey, a lot of narratives got killed, but there's always going to be narratives with Lamar Jackson. People are always going to say something. Regardless, but like before it was like, all right, he can't get a deal. He's not going to be able to sign a deal. He needs an agent. He ain't going to be able to do this on his own. He did it. Then people are like, oh, okay, well, the Ravens, they're going to regret signing him. He ain't earning money. Da, da, da. It's, it's always going to be something with Lamar Jackson, no matter what. If they say, hey, Lamar Jackson can't get here, if he gets here, they're going to be like, all right, well, mm, he can't get here then. It, it's, it's always going to be something regardless. And it's unfortunate, but it is what it is. Uh, he said, in the article, they talk about Lamar Jackson handcuffing the team, but they don't mention the Ravens or sources at all saying anything about regretting signing Lamar, which, if anything, I feel the Ravens are the complete opposite right now. I think they are very happy they got the Lamar deal done. Oh, I'm sure they're very relieved, too, because that was a, it's quite a process. Um, I don't know. I just don't understand why people try to use others to project their own feelings instead of just saying what they think. Because a lot of people don't like accepting responsibility for what they say. They don't like res accepting responsibility for their actions. And they try, if they feel a certain way, like you mentioned, they'll try to use somebody else to try to get their point across uh, because they may be afraid that when they're wrong, they don't want the backlash themselves. And then our last question on this special episode of Questions from Subs came from my boy Kevin B. He said, this is insane, man. And Graven has everything going. Everything is going good, my friend. He said, I hope all is well. This is insane. OBJ 2014, Nelson Aguilar 2015, Laquan Treadwell 2016, Bateman 2021, Zay Flowers 2023. All first round picks. Never seen five first rounders on the same team at the same position. This is insane, man. Hey. It is, but <laughs> you know something else that was insane? The way that the Ravens did wide receiver before this year. So anyway, uh, he said uh, D-Hop would be six. 
2013. So, hey, Ravens, if you want to keep adding, keep adding. Exit out the door. Yeah. 